Hello again, Dan here, Final Fury, and I'm back for another cassette community video. Uh, it hasn't been too long since I did one of these, uh, but uh, it has been a while since I've actually purchased any cassettes. In the last video I showed uh, a few that I purchased a while back, uh, but last week I bought a few, um, and today I actually just got back from the record store, uh, and I bought ten, and they were all a dollar each. And uh, I went to Crossroads Music, which I've talked about before. It's a large store where a bunch of different vendors have space inside of it. Uh, so it's basically like a bunch of little record stores in one big one. So I have my certain sections that I go to each time because I've had good luck there. Um, I did also get 10 records today, and I'll show those in the next final update. But uh, I went to their set section. There's only one. And uh, it's a bunch of really long wooden boxes that slide in and out. And uh, there's not that many, but uh, there's a, a decent selection. And But before, they've all been $2, which some of them were worth $2, but most of them not really. I knew I could find them for $0.50 cents a dollar somewhere else. Uh, but I went back today, and all of them had been remarked at a dollar. So suddenly, there were several that were attractive for that price. So I got several of them. Um, first, the ones that I picked up earlier in the week. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a gem from my uh, teenage years. Uh, orgy. Vapor transmission. Kind of a electro-rock and industrial flavored uh, kind of new metal too. Uh, they had a big hit with uh, Blue Monday, which is a cover from New Order. And uh, this is their second album from 2000. And it's on a clear cassette with a blue insert. I didn't know it was on cassette. Uh, I had never seen that before. But uh, it was only a dollar. And there are several songs that I, I still like on this album, so I figured that's what it's getting for a buck. Uh, Gin Blossoms. Congratulations, I'm Sorry, from 1996. Yeah, and it has the song uh, Follow You Down, which is a, a hit for them. This is actually sealed. And I already have a copy of this, but I uh, figured sealed for a dollar would be worth it, because, you know, with cassettes, you can hardly really tell the condition that they're in if they're used. Maybe the, the case looks great, maybe the, the, the cassette looks great, but maybe it was played once and it got chewed up. Um, or maybe it had been... It looks like crap, but it maybe it plays perfectly. You never really can tell as well as you can tell with a CD or a record. But with a sealed tape, your odds are much better. So I figured that was worth it for a dollar. Uh, another sealed cassette, Toad the Wet Sprocket uh, in Light Syrup, which I guess is a collection of assorted rarities, B-sides and stuff. And um, that was sealed for a buck. I thought that was great. And I also got two different uh, Toad the Wet Sprocket cassettes at Crossroads. Uh, Bread and Circus from 1989, as well as Pale from 1990. And I think with these three cassettes, I might have their whole discography on cassette. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Modern English, After the Snow, with their hit uh, I Melt With You from 1982. Uh, Tears of Fears, The Hurting. Uh, their first full-length album, uh, and I do have this on vinyl, but it's uh, it's got the different cover with the the boy um, and the white background, and um, I don't know. I figured for a dollar, it really would be nice to have on cassette. And I also found "Songs from the Big Chair" by Tears for Fears, and uh, again I have two copies of this on vinyl, the original pressing and the recent uh, Mobile Fidelity reissue. But uh, for a dollar, I got I to gotta get this. And this is a black cassette with a black label, which I thought was cool. Uh, it's also a chromium dioxide tape. And uh, the label says Made in Britain. So I guess this is a UK press of this. So I thought that was pretty neat for a buck. Uh, Big Country, The Crossing, which uh, I've kept my eye out for this on vinyl. I do remember the, the big hit, uh, In a Big Country, which is a great song. Uh, and this is also from 1983, the year I was born. And it actually looks like somebody 
colored on it. I think there's crayon or something on there. I'm pretty sure that's not part of the original packaging. Uh, you can kind of tell it's a little bit blue here. It looks like somebody had colored on it. Oh well. Uh, Seven Mary Three, American Standard, from 1995. You may remember the hit uh, Cumbersome, which I do. Uh, I remember when that song came out, and uh, I was listening to it on the radio, and I totally thought it was Stone Temple Pilots, at least the first few times that I heard it. I don't think I've ever listened to the whole album, so that'll be cool. Uh, Gary Burton, Works, uh, from ECM. And I think the Works series was kind of a greatest hits type thing where they put out uh, these works compilations of artists that had been on ECM for a while. And this is also a black cassette, and it has a green ECM label, and it's also a chromium dioxide tape, so probably sounds pretty good. Uh, Crowded House, self-titled, from uh, 1986. And I do have this on vinyl. It's, I remember it's not a great uh, copy of it, though. It's one of the early records that I bought when I first started collecting and I didn't really know about condition and whatnot. Um, this also says uh, it's XDR, ex Expanded Dynamic Range, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what that translates into on the cassette, but uh, interested to find out. I know it was a buck. And finally, the uh, debut album from Dada, Puzzle, from 1992. Yeah. And um, Mark, remember too, he just recently showed one of their albums on vinyl, and I don't remember if it was this one, I, it might have been, uh, and he was really stoked on it, he said it was one of their, his favorite bands, and uh, he didn't even know that it was on vinyl. And, uh, and I remember having a, a CD single of one of their songs, I don't remember what it was, uh, sometime in the mid-90s, like 96. Uh, and I liked it, um, but I never had anything else by them. And when I saw this for a buck, I figured definitely worth getting. I actually looked it up real quickly on Amazon, and out of 77 reviews, there was an average of five stars. So I imagine it's pretty awesome. So there you go. That does it for the uh, cassette community update. Um, like I said, I did get 10 records today, all for a dollar. And I'll be showing those in a vinyl update soon. And uh, thanks for watching, of course. Until next time, take care. Enjoy your music.